Hi, Gemini. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of December 27, 2021, as we head into that last week of um, 2021. Uh, guys, don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a psychic reading. Okay, Gemini, you're surrounded by so many different energies. I don't even want to go into the different zodiac signs. Uh, but it is time to make decisions that you guys have been putting off. There's also new opportunities and a small wish granted. Now, let me say this to my Geminis, my singles out there. An engagement for some of you, very probable. Some of you may just get the engagement and go straight to the courthouse for the marriage. I have to be honest. And what I'm being shown. So I just have to let you know. And some of you are marrying into wealth. I have to say that as well. So Gemini. Let's see what your week of December 27th is going to look like. Your first card up. It's the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Sagittarius Energy. Um, this is a messenger card. The message is. The Four of Swords. Asking you to get the rest that you need. When you need it. Okay, this is the card that I'm going to say is the calm before the storm. Page of Swords, happy, carefree, aloof. Could rep it resonate as a Taurus energy. Um, very much into being um, uh, very free, very, very passionate about what you do, and very much putting yourself first. Okay. With that, Gemini, I have the Seven of Pentacles, working and gaining. For some of you, this is also bonus checks, commission checks, something new coming in. Center of the reading, Ten of Swords. Someone has done you wrong in the past. This is energy that you need to let go of, okay? Uh, best I can describe it, kick this door shut because it's going to prevent other doors from opening for you. And with that, we have the Three of Swords. Yeah, same person. Same person has done you wrong. Could have found yourself in a third-party situation. Um, I do have third-party, whether it's unwanted advice and or opinion, something that made you mad. Okay, definitely see a little flare of the temper there. Then we have the Happily Ever After. That's where you're headed now. Okay. This is the relationship card. If you're not in a relationship, you are headed to a long-term committed relationship. And for those that are in that committed relationship, you are actually ascending to a whole nother level. King of Cups. What I call the King of Love. This is the unexpected offer of love. Want to throw out a cancer energy may or may not resonate. And there we end with total victory and complete success. Now, not only is this total victory and complete success, you might be in the limelight. You guys may have an audience, okay? You may have some type of a following, but I do see you surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Your center of the reading bonus, we have the Eight of Pentacles, money in addition to. This could be the sale of an item or something to that effect, but it's something in addition to your regular income or your irregular pay. So let's continue on with these messages, starting up top with the messenger card. And the next message from that is, look at there, four wands twice. Okay, twice in this reading, the happily ever after, the relationship, it is definitely there. Ooh, on the four of swords, we have a jumper here. Let's see what jumped out the deck on you. <laughs> there you have yet again the Sagittarius and another message card. So the message would be Ace of Wands. You're under a new beginning. The new beginning is now. It is the week right here, right now of December 27th. Beautiful energy. On the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Two of Cups. Couples card. Happy Union. This applies to my singles as well as to my couples. And then we have on the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Movement. Movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. But Gemini, this is movement on the home front. On the Three of Swords energy, you have again the King of Cups. It's appeared here twice. That unexpected offer of love, and I really, really, I really want to throw out the word unexpected, 
okay? Taking you by surprise. King of Swords could be a Libra energy that's coming rushing in. Someone in control, someone dominant. Someone who knows what they want and knows how to get it. On the King of Cups energy, I have the world, as in the world is your oyster. Everything is going your way. And on the Six of Wands energy, we have the Ten of Swords. Again, a lot of repeats here. Letting you know, again, I'm going to tell you, this will prevent another door from opening if you don't kick that door closed on who, who has done you wrong and who is no longer going to serve a purpose to you. And your bonus card. Queen of Pentacles. Gemini appearing in Gemini. Could also resonate as an Aquarius. Financial stability. You doing yourself. You prioritizing and you putting yourself first. Gemini, this is a beautiful way to end your year, so please take the time to enjoy. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.